गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द आइडियन वैल्यू द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर इज नेक्स्ट एंड वॉट इज द एम टू डिटरमाइन आइडियन वैल्यू ऑफ गिवन सैंपल ऑफ ऑइल बाय पीरियडिन ब्रोमाइड मेथड ओके वॉट इज द रेफरेंसेस रेफरेंसेस हैंडबुक ऑफ नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट केमिस्ट्री प्रैक्टिकल मैनुअल सिद्धि की ए ए सी बी एस पब्लिकेशन पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन दिस इज वन रेफरेंस यू कैन रेफर मेनी मोर रेफरेंसेस Uh, and uh, this is one method there are different method to de uh, determine the iodine value of your fat uh, fatty sample okay now requirement in the requirement uh, iodine flask you requ required iodine flask pipette burette measuring cylinder then chemicals carbon tetrachloride pyridine bromide 10% potassium iodide solution 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution and starch as a indicator okay now we will discuss the about the theory what is the theory behind this iodine value why why does it is important to determine the iodine value okay now quality control constants like acid value saponification value which indicates the purity of fat or oils as we are uh, seen that uh, in this particular iodine value saponification value acid value these are uh, these all are very useful to de determine what to determine the quality of your sample huh? your sample might be fat or oil uh, okay means you should uh, you should uh, conclude that after measuring this particular uh, value that is iodine value of fat or sample ki whether your product is pure or impure in form or might be stored in improper condition you might be not followed proper storage instruction okay this conclusion you can make after calculating this iodine value okay this is all about your theory here are uh, different uh, oils and uh, different uh, standard value of uh, iodine value is mentioned here okay olive oil uh, iodine value is in between 79 to 88 coconut oil iodine value is 8 to 10 uh, palm oil iodine value is 13 to 17 then peanut oil iodine value uh, value is 84 to 104 okay now understood means means for example you are measuring the iodine value for coconut oil okay if your coconut oil iodine value is found for example 15 then what you can say you can say your uh, sample or compound it might be impure or it might be adulterated or you can conclude that it might be stored in improper condition okay this is iodine value now observation before that observation we will see the principle okay what is the principle i what is the definition for this iodine value iodine value of fat or oil represents what represent number of gram of iodine absorbed under prescribed condition by 100 gram of oil or fat okay means how it calculating means number of iodine absorbed for what in prescribed condition by 100 gram of oil per fat i oil for fat means nothing but your oil or fat is nothing but your sample oil or fat means uh, for example we can say uh, ki uh, number of gram of iodine absorbed under prescribed condition by 100 gram of coconut oil okay this iodine value is regarded as measure of degree of unsaturation measure of degree of unsaturation means unsaturation means You, if if the compound, for example, your particular oil, in that uh, oil uh, means uh, unsaturation means might be a double bond, triple bond is there. They can be measured through this iodine value. Okay, high iodine value contain a greater number of double bond than a low iodine value containing of pyridine bromide method. Make use of additive compound that is pyridine bromide and H2SO4. Ha, huh, look here. what is saying here high iodine value means there might be greater number of double bond for example here we have mentioned some example 
in peanut oil peanut oil what is the iodine value 842104 and what is for coconut oil for coconut oil it is 8 to 10 means here degree of unsaturation in the sample where it is greater it is greater in the peanut oil because peanut oil having iodine value is in between 84 to 104 so the uh, means from this we can say that the peanut value have uh, peanut oil having greater unsaturation means it having high iodine value this is the uh, what we can say a relation between unsaturation and the iodine value of that particular sample that means here they they mention that he, this particular method uh, what is the name of uh, our determinant method our method is pyridine bromide method which is used to determine the iodine value so here uh, what we can be use we are using here pyri pyridine bromide and h2so4 for the detection of iodine value okay now this reagent from additive compounds with unsaturated glycerides without any substitution or oxidation okay means without any substitution or oxidation we can calculate in the iodine value the excess of pyridine bromide is determined by addition of ki which is followed by titration with standard sodium thiosulfate um, if there is a excess in um, uh, pyridine bromide is uh, he, uh, um, occur then we can determine through this uh, addition of potassium hydride okay and then it will titrate, uh, titrate with against sodium thiosulfate adding value is useful in finding adulteration in fat and judging its suitability suitably in paint industry means we are uh, what is the application of this adding value we, uh, first of all we will uh, find out whether a, a particular sample is adulterated or not or whether it is uh, stored in improper condition or we can uh, say uh, calculate the what paint uh, means it can be useful in paint industry so this is uh, means iodine value this is very useful in paint industry in that we can calculate the iodine value because uh, in the paints different oils and uh, solvents are there this can be measured by this iodine value okay now observation uh, first of all for blank purpose means we are taking reading for blank and sample for blank solution in burette in if we are uh, titrating blank sample then what is what is the requirement solution in burette sodium thiosulfate uh, 0.1 molar solution in flask then 10 ml carbon tetrachloride plus pyridine bromide 25 ml on potassium iodide 15 ml means without the sample we can using the blank means here sample is not present sample is absent in the blank uh, you know very well i think uh, indicator starch and end point yellow to colorless then what is for sample sample solution sample solution plus these all are the uh, solvents like uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, sodium thiosulfate a uh, burette in burette sodium thiosulfate means we have to titrate particular uh, sample against sodium thiosulfate so solution in flask 2 gram sample uh, which we are going to analyze for iodine value means 2 gram sample your sample 10 ml carbon tetrachloride plus pyridine bromide 25 ml 10% potassium iodine uh, iodide 15 ml means uh, other things are same uh, extra extra additionally it is uh, we are adding what 2 gram of sample then indicator starch then end point yellow to colorless this is all about your observation and observation table observation table in the observation table serial number where, uh, where you can mention one two then a burette reading initial final and mean okay now result how can you uh, write or represent a result iodine value of given sample is found to be is found or you can say iodine value of given oil sample was found was found after calculation you can mention uh, this this is your iodine value 
then what is the calculation ideal value is equal to a minus b into 1.269 its standard constant divided by weight of sample b is nothing but volume of standard of sodium thiosulfate in blank reading okay volume of standard of sodium thiosulfate in blank reading means b means your blank reading a means volume of sodium thiosulfate after that you can get the your ideal value and this ideal value you can represent here in the result uh, your uh, uh, ideal value for particular sample or your sample was found to be was found this this amount okay this is all about your practical you just have uh, some assignment like uh, you should write down the procedure for how to prepare 10% potassium iodide solution then you can uh, second question is um, how to prepare 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution then how to prepare starch indicator indicator these all three question for your assignment purpose you should uh, listen carefully understood and you can uh, write the your answer of assignment questions this is all about today's practical